we shall shatter the Dwarven Alliance. Instead of forging one of our own. Yes, I have already beaten mission number three, now it's time to beat mission number four. Slay the dwarves. Dwarves need conquering before they can interfere in Archibald's in King Archibald's plans. That's uh bold phrasing. It's not that first we need to conquer them, and then they need to interfere. Rather, we need to stop them from interfering by conquering them. Roland's forces have more than one hero in many towns to start with. So be ready for attack from multiple directions. We must capture all of the enemy towns and castles to claim victory. Fair enough. More than one hero, that's understandable. Many towns, that's also understandable. I wonder how many castles that is, because towns aren't too much of a threat on their own. I can start out as the necromancer, the warlock, or the barbarian. I presumably ought to play as the barbarian to manage things quickly. Scouts report the enemy's stronghold lies to the southwest. Our swift arrival has caught them by surprise. If you move quickly, the resistance will be minimal. All right, first and foremost, let's see what we can get. We've just established a new base here, so we only have a goblin's hut. Nothing else, literally nothing else. Let's start off with the statue. As aggressive as I would love this start to be, might as well get those resources to get the ball rolling. Lots of sprites, that is a decent bit of a threat. Leadership or diplomacy? Diplomacy is tempting. But I'll take leadership. Might as well earn those extra moves. I really was tempted to just rush everything, but uh, alas, alas, that might just not be the way to go. What can I get from White Shield? This town may not be upgraded to a castle. That's horrible! <laughs> Adrenalist tip for the barkeep peels the following rumor. The truth is out though. It's not particularly helpful, but fair enough. Guess what? I can only recruit dwarves over here. Although some spells may also be learned at the Mage Guild, I guess. It's fascinating, you can't actually check the spells if you have a hero that doesn't have a spell book uh, in a given town. You only get the option to buy the spell book for him so he can learn the spells. A minor inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. Fine, let's get those spell dwarves. I expected the towns to be perfectly upgradable. I was so mistaken. So sorely mistaken. A gold mine, defended by dwarves. I should not attack into this without having a more impressive army than this paltry force of goblins and orcs. I don't think there's anything I can do in any of these towns aside from recruiting the dwarves. I don't even think I ought to recruit those dwarves, as wonderful as they may be. As wonderful as they may seem at first. Abandoned lean to. Ransacked. Now what? Lots of dwarves next to a gold mine. That's lovely, but I don't think I have the falls. Take them on, not quite yet. That has revealed a decent bit of the map. There's a crossbow here, presumably helps ranged units deal damage, I guess, I would hope. Oh, maybe it takes away the penalty for shooting over obstacles, that would be amazing. The Zoblins... <laughs> There's... Zoblins, really? The zombies are defending this artifact, though I can't take them on purely with the goblins and orcs that I have under my control. 
the best I can do is flag these nearby mines, collect the nearby resources, and post haste upgrading everything in my town. To get a sizable enough falls to actually do something. To pose a threat. I understand that the enemy forces do have heroes at their disposal, so there's more to this situation than meets the eye. Do you wish to buy the artifact? Fair enough, the telescope presumably grants, grants scouting. Effectively, yes. You can see further with the telescope. Of course you can. Oh, boots! These boots presumably grant movement. Uh, what about the treasure chest? Should I wait for my primary hero to get here and get the experience? Or should I just get the gold? Well, anyway, let's get something back here. Might as well recruit those forces soon enough. And I might as well get the gold right now. I will not be wasting time trudging through here with my primary hero anytime soon. I don't think. I could recruit additional heroes on top of what I have right now. Mm, I won't be heading south, I would have to fight the dwarves. So let's reveal the territory in the area nearest the castle. Well, I'm just heading north. It's not about the vicinity, it's about what I actually can safely... Of course you have to buy them! <sighs> They're quite expensive, but... Movement points are a precious commodity. Actually, they're not much of a commodity. It's not like you can buy and sell mobility all that easily. So I think as much of an investment as that may have been, it was perfectly worth it. Alright, I should be able to get the bridge next turn. Let's end this one. Fingers crossed that uh, I encounter no opposition in the short term future. View artifacts. Yes, that's a cute spell, but I don't need to buy a spellbook for each of my barbarians, although that would be somewhat handy. What do I do? What do I do? Do I head on over here? To get reinforcements, or do I just get the chest? Presumably I should get the chest. There are so many demon caves to visit, but I'm not sure I really want to fight demons. Scouting or diplomacy? The map is puny. I think I'll take diplomacy instead. We'll see if anyone decides to join me. Jacqueline. I was about to guess Jacqueline. Jacqueline... Uh, doesn't have much to do, not without a false. She can hand over what few units she's got to the primary hero, whose name I cannot recall at the moment. <sighs> Hypothetically, I could build the bridge if I had the resources, but I do not have the resources. And as such, I guess I'll have to resort to upgrading something this turn. I need more all, and all will be hard to come by. Want it. Should get the well before getting upgrades. After all, this will allow me to recruit more forces overall. Since the well increases the number of recruitable monsters or creatures you get every single week. And as much as I love the idea of upgrading them, I should be able to upgrade them before they head out. But I want to make sure that when I actually do recruit all the reinforcements, I will not have to... Uh, I will have as big of a force as possible to recruit. That's essentially it. <sighs> but I guess the time has come to actually recruit them. Mm, I could get the garbage heap as well. I could also get it next turn. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. 
Jojosh, of course Jojosh is our primary hero. As far as I have decided, anyway. Get him a few wolves. Upgrade these orcs. Get a few more orcs, and now he's got a false to be reckoned with. Not necessarily. I could get him a few ogres, though having them in the unupgraded form would be somewhat pathetic. What do I do? Let's uh, use Atlas over here to head west. Scout as far as we can. I could try to attack the sprites right here, right now. Fine, let's do so. The ogres wouldn't make their way towards the sprites anyway. Fine. I will not waste any more time. They wish to join me. Of course they do. That's why I got diplomacy. For just such an occasion. Jacqueline can get the dwarves she can get. Atlas can scout for... The, uh, let's give him some more experience. Pathfinding on expert or ultra and basic pathfinding. You're out here scouting. Not doing much else. Get this mine. Head on back. And next turn get the reinforcements you can receive. Excellent. He has spent all of his movement points. Let's get the garbage heap. So I can get as many goblins as humanly possible. As possible. Let's settle for possible in general. You actually can't visit the windmill from this side. That's atrocious. Maybe I should... Uh, I'll get the artifact soon enough. I'll try to use the primary hero in order to do that because rogues may spring out, etc. You may fall into a trap. Wouldn't want that to happen, now would we? Here's Dragon City, another artifact to pick up. Plenty of dwarven huts. I guess if I rush it, I might be able to make it all the way southwest soon enough. Either way, this area is safe. It's wonderful news. Still can't get the bridge, still don't have the all. Let's get all those plentiful goblins. Some orcs. And finally, upgraded ogres. Will I even be able to afford any ogres at that stage? No, I won't. Even though there's 10 of them. Recruitable. In theory, none are recruitable in practice. Fine, let's slay the sprites. What do you even fight in the demon cave? I can't recall what happens though. <laughs> what sort of demons can you even face in this game? Ah, <laughs> I dread the idea, but I don't think it's that deadly. It's an experience to be sure, but let me at least get the ogres before I head to the demon cave. The sprites run away, which is wonderful. I don't want to waste my resources. Now I can try to slay the rogues and then I'll get the true compass of mobility for even more movement points. Great. I don't have the resources to get the bridge, obviously, but I can get some Ogre Lords, which will eventually... Which will eventually get added to the primary hero's army. All, of course, is precious, as I have mentioned. I need to get the bridge, and that's exactly what I need for that. We'll visit the lean to Plunder it, see what we can get. I'm gathering up all the resources I can. Those extra dwarves also um, seem like a reasonable thing to acquire. I can get all the dwarves from all the towns, upgrade the dwarves that are unupgraded as of yet, then add that force to my primary hero's forces, and uh, Bob's your uncle, I should be able to go out and slay and conquer soon enough. Oh, by the way, this has not yet been flagged, so I might as well look into doing that sometime soon. The rogues flee, the cowards, who prey on the weak. <sighs> of course you have to buy the compass. Fair enough, it's... Oh, I can't afford that. Not yet. Alright, I'll be able to afford that soon enough. Next turn, presumably. Shouldn't have recruited the ogres. 
Give me that mobility. What? Oh, I still don't have the gold. Unbelievable. Right, fine. It's moderately believable. I can believe it. Yeah, the blue players. Flagged mines. We are that far. Alright, the compass has been acquired. It is, of course, the true compass of mobility. I have very little in terms of resources, but I should be able to conquer this. It's just dwarves. Of course, dwarves are what the mission is all about. Down they go. And now for the unupgraded ones. It'll take them a while to make their way towards my forces. I'll not make it easy on them. Scouting or pathfinding? Pathfinding for movement. The ultimate artifact may be found on a grassy plain. I don't have the time for this. I don't have the cash to buy a spell book. So pathetic. Rogues here, lean to those, some resources to pick up. Marvelous, but... But there are so many other things that require my attention at this point. So many things! I don't know whether to send Jacqueline. Presumably not scouting. I could just go ahead and try to recruit the dwarves. All around. Fine. Head west and attack the rogues. I can get absolutely nothing this turn, which is acceptable. It's not that I have much of a choice, but I love the fact that I describe things as acceptable in such a... 9 out of 39 rogues wish to join my army. No! No counterattacks. A sprite will nah, quite a few sprites will die. Doesn't matter, I got them for free anyway. And that it gives me a bit of experience, which is great. A pack of battle dwarves, that's pathetic! Oh, they wish to join me! Well of course I accept! You're welcome in Lord Alcabal's army. Where do the lifts lead? I have a bad feeling about this. Still can't get the bridge, not enough all. Can't even get all the remaining ogre lords. Not yet. I could gather the resources. All head west. All go through the lifts. Those are my options. So I could head south and flag all these things. Wouldn't be the worst of ideas. I can't quite recruit another hero to help me gather all of this. Oh look, another town. Does that... Does this mission actually just involve... Conquering all these silly dwarven towns? That sounds ludicrous as a prospect, but I wouldn't count that out. There were supposed to be many heroes on the enemy's side, milling about, being a threat. I don't know what to believe anymore. There might be one sorceress's castle to the southwest. With a sprinkling of towns all around the map.
shouldn't have attacked us. You have chosen poorly. Nine sprites, yet again, but another town has joined me. I can't recruit any dwarves this turn, which is unfortunate, but understandable. Oh look, more rogues. More experience, scouting or luck? Give me luck. All right, I need to take all of these wolves, upgrade them, and then deliver them to Jojosh. What is this artifact? Sulfur. It's an economic artifact as far as I can tell. I think so. Oh dear. I'll get the trolls soon enough, but I won't have the hero to deliver them. What an odd choice to get all these dwarves. <laughs> but then again, if they're here, if they're an awful, why shouldn't I get them? Here's Carlon. With a fairly pathetic army. Might as well strike her down immediately. I don't want enemy heroes lo running around, gathering resources. Doing any of those sorts of things. Not only that, they get resources from the map, which I could use. But aside from that, they get experience. Grow stronger with every passing turn, every single encounter. I can't allow that to happen. Will she run away? Not yet. If I can slay them early on, I can spell myself the headache of fighting them further down the line, also chasing them down, but on top of that, having to deal with their experience. Another town shall join me. I guess the general idea is that these guys mostly gather the dwarves scattered across the map. And if you don't flag these towns, then they have a reasonably sizable pool of dwarves to draw from. That really doesn't sound menacing in the least, but I guess that's the idea anyway. It's the bridge. I prefer to have upgraded trolls, but for that, of course, I need yet more all. Can't get more dwarves, might as well leave them here. And... And what? He's already visited the gazebo, he might as well pick up the resources over there. Get the gems, travel down here. I could visit the treehouse, but I don't have the resources to recruit the sprites. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, I'll just send... Jojosh on his merry way, and that ought to be enough. Oh, sheesh. It's quite a few dwarves, but I can't get them to Jojosh. I'd have to head all the way west. And again, that's not that far away. You'd think it would be, but it's not. And if I want to get all of them to him, I could hypothetically... Ah, do what you tend to do in this game. And make a conga line of heroes. Why not? Let's try that. Diplomacy and advanced or archery and basic? Give me advanced diplomacy, please. More experience. Uh, I don't have the resources for the tree. Sadly. Oh, look, rogues. They might be more threatening than those... See little dwarves out there, and the castle that I'm presumably supposed to conquer. I 
think I'll lose my sprite soon enough. All too soon, as a matter of fact. I think all those levels have paid off. Because my forces have certainly not gotten stronger other than that. It's just all that experience gathered. That is allowing Jojo to slay these rogues with ease. It's amazing how this works out. Alright, let's send this to I presumably should have sent those reinforcements out immediately. Alright. That's 75 dwarves. Quite a few dwarves. Get him off of her. And head west. As quickly as possible. Now, I could expedite this entire procedure by sending Jojosh east. And if I do not do so, with all of his movement speed, he's just going to overtake anyone who tried to get to him. Oh, goodness, boots of mobility. <laughs> this is ludicrous. That's a third movement speed artifact. Well, movement speed, whatever, logistics, whatever you want to call that. Map mobility. Either way, let's get those reinforcements. And as soon as I'm done, let's try to slay and conquer. Might as well give him the telescope, why not? He'll reveal the territory around him, and then presumably just immediately conquer the castle. And that'll be it. I would love to upgrade the bridge. Get the trolls, deliver them to Jojosh, and then, and only then, actually assault the castle. But that's not going to happen, is it? I will still go through the motions. Might as well. But as I have noted all too many a time at this point, it's a tiny map. What? Oh no. Uh, my castles might just be under attack soon enough. Thankfully, Jojosh has got the movement speed to tackle this sort of issue. Why would I visit that? Of course he can't load the spell. Estates or leadership unadvanced? Leadership unadvanced, please. There's the castle. There it is. I have to attack it from the other side, though. <laughs> they don't want to make it too easy on me now, do they? And I can't attack it this turn. I barely do not have enough in terms of movement points, but that's okay. That is indeed perfectly fine. Right, maybe not perfectly fine, but that's that's almost fine. First of all, let's slay Natasha, get this castle. Not to worry, I have 90 full upgraded dwarves. These are battle dwarves, the sturdy folk. And they resist magic. Thankfully, there's no counterattack. For sprites, but uh, alas, alas, they are uh, absolutely mortal. Speaking of which... Yes! The wolves can now rush in and try to slay the unicorns. That uh, seems like a poor idea. Fine, let's slay the druids instead. get the goblins inside the castle walls as well as the dwarves they'll get there eventually get those dwarves two unicorns left
I'm glad I got those reinforcements. Without them, this would be a lot closer of a battle. I'm not sure I would have lost because of all the goblins that are still left over, but it's reasonably likely they would have lost. Right, done. The castle is now mine. Leadership and expert of archery and basic stake. Uh, leadership and expert. Impressive. Most impressive. Buy a spell book and learn these spells. Sapphire Ray, Cold Ray, Steel Skin, yada yada yada. Oh no, is there nothing left to recruit? It's day six though. Soon enough, there will be recruitable units here. The end of the world is near. Thank you, Barkeep. Thank you. It's really... And the advice, I guess. That's what I want to hear from a Barkeep. Reveal the territory all around. There's Rebecca over there with quite a few units. Being a bit of a menace, a bit of a threat. Of course, all of these heroes will be desperate to conquer a town or a castle as soon as possible. So I need to hold up and defend desperately. I also need to deliver some reinforcements to my primary hero if I know what's good for me. But do I actually know what is good for me? That's the question. I have precisely no gold left. Absolutely none. Marvelous. Let's reveal some more of the map. Since I'm already here. Get the moat. Despite appearances, rushing out of any sort of castle is not the right move, as far as I can tell. Jojosh needs the reinforcements. And he basically has got nothing left at this point. I might flag the storm mill, and that's the extent of a risk I'm willing to take at this juncture. He's got plenty of dwarves, I'll give him that. I did, I did, in fact, give him that. But I don't think he necessarily can handle such an arm. He presumably can at this stage, especially the level he's at. But I would feel much more comfortable giving him next week's reinforcements to go with that. Now, surely the AI will go ahead and conquer something, right? Otherwise, it's just going to um, just absolutely go down and out without a fight. That uh, would be silly, wouldn't it? Although these sorts of things do happen from time to time. I don't have much in terms of reinforcements. I did get those silly little unicorns, but they're not worth that much. Is this an army that makes me feel secure in... Jojo's ability to go out and conquer? Will Rebecca be willing to give it a go and try and attack this castle? Presumably. Let's see what she does, given the opportunity. Nothing. As long as the AI has a town, presumably things are fine for it. So maybe it doesn't quite feel the pressure. Now this is a reasonably mighty false, but it's not on Jojosh. No, I could try to get it to Jojosh, and presumably I should. I really ought to. It's not linger all too long. All right. There's a silly little town over here. Let's get it under my control, and then it'll just be a matter of slaying all the all the enemy heroes left standing.
With every passing week, the Dwarven towns just get stronger and stronger. And the last thing I need is to face more Dwarves than I necessarily, desperately, absolutely have to. Mine. Rebecca is still there, not terribly preoccupied with acquiring additional <laughs> real estate. Not really busy with much of anything, quite frankly. Oracle, tell me, what is going on? Why is my phone not busy panicking and acquiring multi... <sighs> Because blue is an explorer, that's why. And the best monster on blue's side is the unicorn. Well, guess what? A unicorn is level 5. That's the same level as the wall troll. Which means that... Uh, soon enough I'll just send Jackton with the reinforcements. And my enemy will be wiped off the face of the planet. The planet, of course, being getting rough. Oh, hello there. Use this to reveal what remains. That's a single town of Ostorov. Sounds like a bit of gem. I should be well on my way to getting first level. No, I actually don't accept that. I'd rather spend this money and some better forces off of my castles. Now I understand that. Offends the rogues, but I guess they'll have to deal with it emotionally. Or perhaps they won't, because they'll all be dead. Having decided to attack me. Quite imprudently, if I may say so myself. Down they go. A lean to should I visit that? Presumably not. Let's just go for the town. Let's just go to town on the town! Can't get the pyramid, I would need more all. I could get a few more units. Although I hate to linger that long. Presumably at this stage I don't necessarily need Georgers to do all of that hand holding. But I could <laughs> meet him halfway literally. Or, you know, I could just uh, deal with Carlone over here. She doesn't have that much of an imposing force. Let's send Jacqueline to intercept her. And then slay her. Now, Atlas is completely lost. He's not doing much of anything useful. Rebecca is also out there, just, just hanging out. Not particularly helping, but not impeding me either. Uh, she's a bit of a threat because she's close to Dwarf Hall. And uh, Dwarf Hall has no defenders for now. Of course she's heading there. That's not even all the forces, but that's the best I can do for now. All right, George. Josh. There are literally three blue heroes on the map, so even if she conquers that castle yet again, that's not a concern, that's not a problem. I can retake it almost immediately. The initial conquest is significantly more important. Need to capture all these silly towns. And then slay the remaining heroes. Retake what few castles get conquered by what few heroes remain at that stage during the mop up stage. And then I'll be done. That's it. Diplomacy and expert, all the states. Diplomacy and expert, please. 
Is there anything I want to get from Ostrov? No, the dwarves I could get from here. I am the most gold. The dwarves I could get from here are not even upgraded. Which is pathetic. Let's try to go for gem. And you go for Carlon. Oh dear. So she conquered White Shield, which is okay. She won't be able to flee. That is a sizable falls. Perhaps I've misjudged the situation. Although I may as I may as well cast a few spells here. It seems to be the perfect sort of opportunity to use up that spell mana. Oh, that was impressive. Paralyzing my dwarves is going to be quite an issue. At this point, they are the only significant stack that I have. <sighs> so things are rather not going well. Although the dwarves will get um, unparalyzed eventually, presumably as they get attacked. At worst, once I lose everything, and they do inevitably do get attacked. Oh dear. Oh no, come, stop that. Stop that. No! That's still 80 dwarves. Stop it! Stop it! Alright, slay the eight battle dwarves here. Retaliate to slay these guys. And try to reach the halflings. Oh, oh, of course, she can't run away. Fair enough. Thus, I just win. I prevail here. It was a tougher battle than it had to be. A golden bow, a lightning helm, a golden horseshoe, the arcane necklace of magic, the pendant of death have all been acquired. Done. <laughs> uh, I do have reinforced... Oh, right, that's Carlon. She has fled south. Let's pursue her. Obviously. And you hide out in this little town... As many dwarves as you can acquire. Oh. Oh, goodness. What a world. What a world. But even if he ultimately dies, it doesn't matter because I have Jacqueline over here ready to slay Carlon with her falls. Now, I understand that Rebecca might be a bit of an issue because she's about to take this little town. Well, technically, a castle. But hopefully, retaking it wouldn't be much of an issue. It's not like it's going to defend. It's going to go down. There's no way it survives. Mostly because of spells. A simple call break can just wipe out my forces. Although the fortifications will deal significant damage. Can you actually stay the unicorn? That would be great. The unicorn is down! It's just dwarves and goblins. And on my side, dwarves and elves fighting side by side. How wonderful. The spells, however, are the biggest concern in these circumstances. However, the enemy might just barely be out of mana at this stage. Hold on, I do have my own spells, don't I? 
Haven't ran out of mana quite yet. Let's not cast spells on the dwarves because they can resist them all too easily. The goblins are all down. It's just down to the dwarves on both sides. Hold on. What? I did not expect this. The, of course, they will resist the spell most likely. Of course, they do. But that's two dwarves versus five. And I have static defenses on my side. Unbelievable. I've managed to defend with that falls. Oh dear. So now there's a single hero left standing. And as soon as I slay Carlon, it's all over, isn't it? Alright. Let's move these falses over to Jojosh. He deserves them. He needs them. He's got them. And now, do the honors, Jojosh. Ah, this really is as far as it gets from an epic climactic battle, which tends to be the case in this game. You do get to these mop-up phases and that's it. They're not glorious. And of course, my foe tried to cast a spell on the dwarves of all targets and the dwarves obviously resisted the spell. They allegedly are just resistant to magic, but they seem immune to it in practice. I think they might have a 75% chance of resisting a spell or something as absurdly high as that. Is that it? The Spike Helm has been received and uh, a level has been upped. Archery or scouting? I don't know. I think it's over now. Archery? Blue Prayer has been vanquished. That's it? Really? Imagine under an hour. Well done, General. The king of the dwarves was so unhappy with your work that he has sent me some hate mail. It reads, To Archibald Ironfist, murderous and vile usurper, we bid you down, 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 to burn forever in the fires of eternal damnation. We pray that your foul general, who we name forevermore Dwarfbane, joins you in this fate. <laughs> How charming. The king of the ogres has also sent a message on this matter. It seems that they were pleased with the outcome and have offered to permanently ally with us and send us troops. And now I must direct you to an urgent military matter involving the Lorendale Valley Barons. Two have openly declared support for my rebel brother, a crime that I cannot tolerate. You must generate an army from scratch using the castles of two of my loyal supporters. I will view failure with displeasure. General, this is Roland, your rightful king. I have a proposal for you. Come and fight on my side. You and I both know that you are wrong to work for my evil brother. It must gnaw at your conscience to know that you serve an unjust usurper. And for what reward? Money? I can give you money too. I offer not just riches, but honor, duty, and purpose. Come join me and serve the cause of justice. Now what say you? <laughs> 